You are such a messy tiger girl. <laughs> oh boy. Super messy. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Lee and Deb. Hey, Jackie. I am here with Sapphire, our white tiger. <laughs> He's very, very muddy. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hi, Noor. Oh, my. Someone's very excited for breakfast. Good morning, Jeff. So we got a nice torrential downpour yesterday and Sapphire loves to be filthy. So she's in her element. Good morning, Marsha. <laughs> yeah, she's a not so white tiger today. Thank you, Deb, for posting her link. Again, this is Sapphire, a female white tiger. <laughs> hey, Laura. So you guys can actually watch Sapphire while she's on vacation rotation. Right now she's just in her roof section, but she actually has two and a half acres that goes all the way out there. Lots of platforms and dens. And you can see all the water from yesterday. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> can you get that back foot? Yeah, she's very, <laughs> she's very special. <laughs> She is filthy, but you guys can watch her at bigcatcams.com and there's a vacation rotation camera as well as a feeding station camera. Hi, Karen. Thank you, Deb, for posting about vacation rotation. The big cats get one month at a time out on the big section. Let's see if she wants to walk out there. Why don't you show them all the room you have? can see there's just doors that we can open and close and she's got all that space out there as well but it's almost breakfast time so that's why she's up here excitedly waiting oh I'm not getting too close to you I'm gonna end up looking just like her <laughs> filthy I gotta sit in a staff meeting I can't be that filthy oh, and she's gonna mark her territory All worked up because Amanda's across the road. Why so muddy? Because we are in Tampa, Florida and it is storm season. Pretty much June through November we get our typical afternoon torrential downpours and we've been getting hammered with rain. So the mud and the water just never fully goes away. <laughs> all right dirty girl. So Amanda's in a good spot. I'd like to walk over and talk to Amanda Tiger for a minute. Also waiting on breakfast. I am not wearing boots because I did not think this through. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. So hopefully I can show you. Hi, babe. That's a very nice chuff. Thank you. That noise she just made. A tiger chuff. We like to say that's a tiger hello. This is Amanda Tiger. She is 23 year old female tiger. I know as you can see she's got a little pep in her step. She wants to do her good morning roar. Oh I just had the tiniest little frog land on my shoulder. That's ridiculous. Oh, and he's gone. He's in that plant now. That was... <laughs> Actually, there he is. Teeny tiny little... Oh, and there he went. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> See, I turned my attention away from her for two seconds. All right, we're going. I know, babe. She's like, I only yelled at you a little bit. Okay, we're going. Should probably do it again as I start to walk away. It's her prime opportunity if I'm not paying attention. If you guys have ever been here on a tour, because we do guided educational tours, we have this sign on Amanda's enclosure. Yeah, I know. And that is exactly why tours do not go past this point 
because I'm just standing here totally alone and I'm one of the keepers that actually feeds her and she's still that feisty. So we'll walk over here and say hi to Jasmine. Hi Jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Jasmine Tiger. She's currently in Sapphire's enclosure so that we could do some work in her enclosure. Sapphire's the one that is over there in vacation rotation. And Amanda is there. And Jasmine is here. Oh, and it looks like Marie and MC are here to feed Jasmine. Your food's here. Oh, I'm not discounting how fierce Amanda is. I'm her keeper, I know firsthand. <laughs> yeah, there's MC. Oh, are you chuffing again? Because you see people with food. There's Amanda again. You can see it's a little cloudy today. Good morning. Gonna see Jasmine get her breakfast. We got a nice little bark from Amanda, so my morning's complete. <laughs> Oh, She's yeah, like, I stood there too long and I didn't have the food, so. <laughs> That's, a bark from Amanda is a blessing. It is, it is. I, I... <laughs> any, any day of bark from Amanda, any day. Totally. <laughs> so, Marie and MC. MC is safely getting all the food in what we call a feeding lockout. So, it looks like today is a red day, so a lot of beef. And you can see the lockout door is down. Where we first saw her was way over there. So this is a good example of how their enclosures are made. Jasmine will eat anywhere from 10 to 12 pounds of food a day. And then MC will open the door. Safely let her in. <laughs> She's so calm. She is. She's a good kitty. She is. <laughs> so what looks like ground hamburger is mush. And that is a ground up beef diet. We call it their vegetables because it has all the good stuff that they need. Brenda, if you just saw Amanda, that is why I have no desire to touch or hug or pet any of these wild animals. It'd be super disrespectful and super dangerous. Um, they're very unpredictable. Even though these guys are captive bred and kept in cages, um, it, the risk would never be worth the reward. They'd never allow you to touch them in the wild, so trapping them in a cage to do so just doesn't sit right with me. I'm gonna not talk because I don't want her to be distracted. I want her to eat her breakfast. Thank you, Beth and Lynette, for your donations. That's very kind.
<laughs> what do you see? Yeah, I agree. Jasmine's coat color is a lot lighter than Amanda's. Um, most likely from captive breeding. A lot of inbreeding goes into trying to make white tigers. And if you've ever noticed with Jasmine, she has a slight bit of like cross eyes and her tail is a little bit shorter than normal. So I'm sure there's some inbreeding that caused her watered down color. And she's like, all right, I'm gonna take this piece to go. <laughs> yeah, this was Jasmine Tiger. We've already seen Sapphire Tiger, Amanda Tiger, and then Jasmine. And of course they left my cart way over here. So, they're now over, probably gonna have to chase down Sapphire because she gets very distracted at breakfast time. And we've been trying to recondition her to eat in her lockout instead of having to stick feed her. So, so they're gonna go over to Amanda. She doesn't like a crowd, so we're just gonna hop on the cart here. <laughs> probably go see Kali. Uh, Deborah, it varies from cat to cat depending on species and age and any other requirements such as, um, you know, medications or just things like that. So usually between 10 and 12 pounds. But funny enough, the largest cat on property, which is Nikita, <laughs> so, and Nikita only gets I think a little less than eight pounds a day to keep um, her at a good weight with arthritis and things like that. So a lot of different factors go in and it gets changed um, pretty often as far as the cat's needs go. The vet monitors their weight. So there's some sunshine, sort of. It's still a little hazy out. There's my Kali. Kim, they do stay in the cages all the time because they were captively bred by humans. You can't breed cats in cages and then ever set them free. So we are trying to put an end to that problem. You can help us by making the call of the wild at bigcatact.com. We don't believe in breeding for a life in prison, but when they've already been bred and they're mistreated and they need rescued, um, we bring them here, but their enclosures are quite large. You can't see everything because my camera's not that wide angled. Hi, babe. This is Kali, but most of the enclosures are 1,200 to 1,800 square feet for each bubble. And then each cat has multiple bubbles all connected by those tunnel doors. So Sapphire literally showed you and so did Jasmine as far as how their enclosures are created. Thank you to everybody posting links and information for the Call of the Wild. We don't wanna see these cats in cages either, but unfortunately it's a man-made problem. Hi, babe. I know. Yep, Kali was enjoying the sunrise and her lake view. She's probably gonna head towards her feeding lockout too. You can see how much rain we've had. That's the lake. <laughs> and it's just literally combining with Kali's waterfall. I have to go back out this gate and around. If you are brand new to us and you've never heard of Big Cat Rescue or you don't watch our live videos, I'd love to welcome you and ask you to set up your notifications so that you can watch these cats when we go live from Facebook. You can also learn each of their stories. They all have bio pages. Are you going back over there? I can't follow you again. <laughs> Where are you going? Yep, back over there. Unless she's going through the other section. 
Well, welcome, Sierra. If you guys are newcomers, please feel free to ask questions. Uh, there's a lot of moderators in the comments. And then if I see your comment, I try to answer. If not, when I go back to my desk, I reach out to you in the comments. A lot of people come into these lives and don't always understand what they're seeing. So I like to make sure that we get all the questions answered. Don't headbutt that. What are you doing, babe? Ooh, very nice, Jeff. Thank you very much, Michelle, for your donation. Yep, so again, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We are a nonprofit organization. We're a GFAS accredited sanctuary. That's the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. We are on 67 acres and have just under 60 permanent residents. Thank you, Emma. I really appreciate that kind comment. I enjoy bringing you guys these cats live, making sure everybody knows the issues surrounding big cats and how you guys can help. So Keisha is in the background. You can kind of see her. So the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries holds us to a high standard. We do not buy, sell, breed, touch, or interact with the cats. No, no funny business. This is just a true sanctuary for these guys. Uh, Rosie, unfortunately we have quite a few tigers. Um, we have Hoover tiger, Priya tiger, Duchess tiger, Keisha tiger, Kali tiger. <laughs> tigers oh I, I might need to move my cart we have and then we've already seen Kali Jasmine Sapphire and Amanda but we are expecting three new rescues sometime in September or October and it's three male tigers coming from Guatemala they have effectively closed their circuses Uh, Archer, this is a big cat sanctuary. We only have cats. Thank you to everybody who's naming everybody off and putting links. And But we don't just have tigers. We have one lion, one jaguar, one ocelot. We've got bobcat servals. We have one Canada lynx. We have two caracals. Waiting, waiting. <laughs> but Kali has this entire enclosure. So it goes all the way over there. She has two, yeah, no, three swimming pools. Kali has three swimming pools now. She's like, I'm gonna follow these guys. And then we've got three leopard, or four leopards. We have an Amore leopard, a black leopard, and two golden leopards. But again, you can learn about every single cat here and their stories and how they um, came to live at Big Cat Rescue. If you go to bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Let's go see if our caracals are out and about. So when Chaos Caracal came home from Funcation, she actually shifted to this side and Cyrus shifted to the other side. They're both doing well. I see them out on their platform, so they seem to be doing okay with the switch. There's Pumpkin! Here's my Pumpkin! Hi! I'm gonna come back there and say hi. Oh, there we go. Hi! So this is Cyrus Caracal. What are you doing? Yeah, here, let's come this way where you're not blasted by the sun. He's a hard one to get focused when he's blasted by sunlight. He's watching Barb over at the staff office. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, sweet boy. 
he's very hyper in the morning. Yeah, he's he's all weirded out because Barb's leaving on a cart over there. You just being curious? Just curious. Oh, still getting used to all the noises. Hi, you're being quiet today. Too distracted. Too distracted. So Cyrus has actually a huge enclosure. This enclosure was originally for, well, actually originally when I first started here over four years ago, Rusty and Sassy Caracals were over here. I know. He's making like little squeaks, but I haven't actually heard him full on trill yet today. And then Miss Chaos, I see her, she's up on top of this platform. I don't know why they switched them to be totally honest, probably just part of, you know, just new surroundings. Hi, this is Chaos Caracal. Thank you everybody who is gently and nicely educating the people that are being a little harsh. <laughs> She is way less energetic. But he is very hyper because it's almost breakfast time. All of our cats are fed between 8 and 9 a.m. So that's when they're up being the most energetic. Cats, just like your cats at home, they're gonna sleep for about 20 hours a day. So once he gets breakfast, he'll be all tuckered out. And you can see he followed me because he's capable of going from this large area all the way over there. Well, April, I'm so sorry to tell you you already missed Sapphire. I started with Sapphire. But you can rewatch this. Um, oh, and if Deb is still in the comments here, I received several comments yesterday on my public Big Cat Facebook page saying that my lives are still not going over to dailybigcat.com. So I know my live from yesterday is definitely not there and potentially the last one I did last week, people are saying they couldn't find on there. Just an FYI, I don't know if the link's broken again. <laughs> He's just marking away. Big cats mark with scent glands that they have all over their body, but especially around their face and their feet. They also claw and scratch, urinate, and vocalize to mark their territory. All right, so that's our caracals. Yes, you can find these lives. So there's multiple places these lives do go. Um, it's, it can just be hard for people to find them on our main Facebook page because we do so many other posts. But you can always find the lives automatically on our Facebook page. You gonna follow? And then dailybigcat.com. And then if you follow my public Big Cat Rescue Facebook page, I always share them over there as well. Good, so I can get over to Nikita. I was a little worried she'd be flooded around the enclosure because of all the rain from yesterday. But I can go see Nikita. Nikita's our only lion. She's a 19-year-old lioness. Hi, big girl. Again, we've fully already explained how our enclosures are made, so please feel free to rewatch this or go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. That explains to you why our enclosures are built the way they are. Yeah, yesterday's Facebook Live, we did check in with Hoover, Tiger, Priya Tiger, some Savannas and Bobcats. Yeah, dailybigcat.com is where you'll find my Facebook Lives, Carol's Lives, Bridget and Andy's Saturday Lives, um, any of our daily updates, things like that. All of our produced videos are from Afton, our video producer, and those are at bigcattv.com. 
both of those YouTube channels are our official YouTube channels. And there are like days and days and days worth of videos of our cats. Lots of fun facts, lots of educational stuff. Hi, big girl. I know a lot of you are going through withdrawals because Nikita Lyon's camera has not been functioning. She has a Nest Cam on her feeding station, which is working, but her explore.org camera is having some issues. Hopefully that'll come back. But you can find all of our cameras at bigcatcams.com. If you guys are just joining in, we've seen Sapphire, Amanda, Jasmine, Kali, Cyrus, and Chaos Caracals. Now we're here with Nikita Lion. She's our very big girl. Yeah, ready for breakfast. Ready. I've always thought it was adorable how Nikita will cross her paws like that too, but I'm pretty sure it's caused from her having been declawed and the arthritis that has come from it. So it's cute, but it's also sad. Nikita had an abscessed tooth back in May, and that is the only time she's ever had to see the vet, and she did get weighed and officially was 426 pounds that day. Yep, I started in Outback and have worked my way up. She just does not want to does not want to look at us today. It's okay though. I like to see her so relaxed before breakfast. <laughs> Thank you very, very much to everybody who is answering questions, helping all of our newcomers understand what it is that they're seeing. Our official website is bigcatrescue.org and you can literally find anything you're looking for from there. April, yep, Sapphire, our white tiger, is still at the vacation rotation. And then Aletheia, a serval, is over in our funcation enclosure. And again, you can watch Sapphire live if you go to bigcatcams.com. Ellie is meditating about breakfast, hoping it's lots of chicken. Chicken is her favorite. She's like, I don't want a red day. No beef. She does eat beef, but she's not a big fan of the vegetables, which I mentioned earlier is the ground diet. It's a beef ground diet, but it actually has like the intestines and the roughage all ground up into what looks like hamburger. And it's probably the healthiest thing that she could eat and she just doesn't like it. <laughs> well, she's 19 years old and if you times that by six, that's what she would be in human years. So she's a very old lady. So it's nice to see her relaxed instead of up and being agitated. She is a lion. So, so I kind of want to see if we can see Alethea. She has been having a lot of fun out in Funcation. And I know I didn't get to film her going out there. So let's go see. And if not, we'll probably see if we can get to Jinx. It's not too flooded. Here's Miss Armani. Armani, did you already get breakfast, hon? I'm having a hard time telling if certain routes have been fed yet or not. Armani is a leopard. A 22-year-old leopard. And in the 
the background is Manny Jaguar. But he's almost impossible to film first thing in the morning <laughs> until he gets breakfast. So, here's Alethea. Looks like maybe Alethea got breakfast. So again, this is a 22,000 square foot enclosure that we call Funcation. And it's for Manny Jaguar and Smaller to come out for two weeks at a time. Hi, Alethea. She's been having a very fun time. She's been utilizing most of the entire enclosure as well, but like all small cats, she really likes the very back bubble area because it's very covered. Lots of foliage, lots of dens. And she's peeing on her tree because that tree's hers now. <laughs> it's the silly part when they first come out to Funcation. They pee and scratch on everything to mark it as theirs. This is Alethea Serval. She's an African Serval. She was held as a privately owned pet till they realized, like they always do, that they are very destructive and territorial, aggressive, and they just don't make good pets. And she's in such a big enclosure that it's not really possible for me to follow her when she walks away like that. <laughs> she's probably going back to that really big den they all really like to sleep in that den. Let me come back out of here and we'll see Beecher. It looks like Beecher's out and close. Yep, Alethea was our newest resident. She's been here a couple of months now. Savannah cat. So Beecher was crossbred between an African serval and a domestic house cat. Super not natural. Tend to have a lot of health problems and behavior problems and do not make good pets. Mr. Chatty, yeah, you look like you have a full belly. Is it good? Fish seems to be his absolute favorite. It's really cute to watch him get excited about it. You're adorable. Yep, Alethea is doing great. She uh, is full blown eating a normal, regular diet at this point and seems to have calmed down a lot. She was actually really easy for them to transport from her home enclosure to vacation, so she did really good there. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, Ginger, as far as I am aware, none of the Savannah cats can go on Funcation because they need this 2x4 wire that you see him in. Okay, guess that's it. And you can see that Funcation has the 4x4, but I don't, I'm not sure. Tut for sure, I think, is too small. Let's see where Hutch is. And then maybe I will backtrack to Jinx. We'll be calling it a day. Hachi! Might be using his camouflage. Oh, there he is. And 
one more time, thank you again to everybody trying to politely answer some of the more aggressive commenters today. Hi. You coming to say hi? Yeah. Hi. This is Hutch. Hutch is an African serval as well. Thank you, boy. I know. Making biscuits. See, I had breakfast. Now it's time for biscuits. Yeah, just to put it in some context here, my home, my actual home that I live in is 900 square feet. <laughs> This one bubble that you see Hutch in here is 1,200 to 1,800. Each bubble varies slightly. And he has four bubbles. Yeah, isn't that right? Yep, I'm one of those people that won't tolerate people being mean to each other in the comments. I will shut this down. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Where are you going? You want to show them where the rest of your enclosure is? And people like to say that we're no better than a zoo, but we don't lock our animals into night houses. That's my biggest issue with a lot of the zoos other than the senseless breeding that they do for cats to live their whole life in cages and to be passed around from facility to facility. I guess I, I guess I have a lot of issues with zoos, but anyway, um, a lot of zoos will lock their animals into concrete cells at night, basically, and then let them out just during the times that they're open. So it's almost a guarantee that people will see the animals. I just don't believe in that. You eating some grass? And you know, if people can't be nice, just ignore them. You don't have to let it affect you. These lives are meant to educate and to bring the stories and the issues surrounding big cats to the public. <laughs> so silly. Crystal, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Um, no, Hutch actually was not the one owned by a vegan owner, that was Cricket. But Cricket has a lot of deformities because she was only fed broccoli and a pretty poor diet when she was younger. Um, Hutch, it's unsure. He was also attempted to keep as a pet um, and wound up in a rehab facility, which is not practical because African servals are not native to here, so they could never ever be released here. But it is most likely a nutritional issue as to why he's got, he definitely has arthritis. That was noted when he got, um, his x-rays the last time he was in the hospital but that curly tail it's hard to say it's most likely either captive breeding bad genetics or bad nutrition he's over 12 years old so are you eating grass you've been hanging out with Beecher too much Beecher loves to mow his lawn <laughs> as we like to say all right all right Hutch I hope you have a good day, sir. Yeah, such a good boy. Uh, I know I promised you guys Jinx, but we have a cougar over here. We have three cougar siblings that live here. This is Aries. So we call these guys the cougar cubs, but they're actually over 13 years old now. A hunter shot and killed their mother in Idaho, and there was no rehab and release for them. 
So it was either go to a zoo, be separated, be bred, whatever would happen, or thankfully they came to a sanctuary. Fun fact that cougars are the largest cat that can still purr. Everything above that is a roar or more like a sawing noise. People always ask me, what, what do you mean by a sawing noise? It literally sounds like a chainsaw. But he has a huge enclosure. It's all the way down there from where we were just at Funcation because there's three of them. Aries, Orion, and Artemis, and then they have all the way over to that yellow rope, and it goes all the way back to that white wall. Are you parents are... <laughs> all right. Here's baby girl, it's Artemis. Hi, sweet girl. So we do separate these guys for feeding time and enrichment because even though they were hand raised by people, they are still wild, unpredictable animals and they get very aggressive with each other and us. Um, Denise, yes, our tour path is a little bumpy and rocky, but it can usually handle motorized um, scooters and wheelchairs, but also we um, do rent out golf carts, so you can also do that to get around the sanctuary. Camille, I believe Perfection's doing fine. I think she just had, she either sucked in something in her nose yesterday or just had one of those like little coughs you can't get rid of for a minute. Something went down the wrong pipe. But no other notes were made about her yesterday. Uh, Sheila, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. So we are gonna head to our last cat. If you guys missed, we saw a lot of cats on this live. So you can rewatch it at dailybigcat.com or right on our main Facebook page. So Marie and MC are feeding Manny. There's Sundari. I had that happen to me on a tour the other day. All of a sudden I like swallowed and it went down the wrong pipe and I <laughs> felt like I was gonna choke to death. Yeah, I see a lot of you guys ask questions literally while I'm answering it or right after I've answered it. So hopefully, hopefully you don't think I'm ignoring you guys if I don't repeat myself a thousand times. You know what we don't usually get to see is Manny eat. So let's walk over here real quick. Manny's our only jaguar. He was actually given to us from a zoo because they were revamping all of their cages and did not have room for Manny Jaguar or Natalia or more leopard. You already cleaned your plate. They just left. They literally just left, sir. <laughs> We didn't even get over here in time to see him eat breakfast. Jill, we have an entire page on our website telling you guys about our critical disaster and hurricane plan. We have been in this location for 27 years. He got a piece that fell out, so he's gonna make sure he gets it. So we have lots of plans in place if that were to happen, but it looks like this current tropical storm slash hurricane it's gonna be affecting the east coast of Florida and we are on the west coast. Most likely we'll, if we get anything, we'll be getting a lot of rain and some wind. Yep, this is exactly why we don't see Manny eat breakfast because he's already done. Did you get every last drop? Gotta check under his feet.
got Manny still freaks out everybody. He's definitely the scariest cat on property, um, along with Amanda and Jinx and Keisha <laughs> and Duchess. <laughs> but he's never actually shown aggression while eating in his lockout. However, he is very stick aggressive, um, so you really can't stick feed him or give him operant treats or anything like that. He's way too aggressive. Don't chew on that. And again, if I've missed any of your questions, I'll reach out to you when this is over. Well, Panama City is also on the west coast and it's in the panhandle, so it's also not currently anywhere in the direction of that storm. Hi. Hi, sir. No, no treat. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Noor. You haven't seen all the footage of if you stand too close to Duchess once you've opened her feeding lockout door, she's extremely aggressive. There's your sawing noise. That's our Monty Leopard sawing in the background. You just d triple check and there's nothing left. Triple check in. Manny's just standing in his feeding lockout praying for more food. <laughs> Edith, he does still sharpen his teeth on the cage wire at me. It's a very regular thing he does. I kind of thought he was going to do it there for a second. Hi, where are you going now? Back over to his platform probably. Yep, Armani is off in that direction, and Jinx and Sundari Leopards are behind me, so. All right, that's that. All done, actually. So we close Manny's um, door here because we don't want him hiding food in his den because it makes it really tough to get back out. But once he's done, give him access. So I am going to do that. There we go. All right, as promised, Jinx. <laughs> Hopefully you guys aren't complaining. I'm showing you too many cats. <laughs> Trying to get it in. Because um, a week from tomorrow, I am out of the country for 10 days. So let's see if we can get a better view of him now that he's not in lockout though. So again, this is Manny Jaguar. Still watching for more food. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. That's our Armani. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Here she goes. Okay, let's see where the sneaky man is. Yep, hopefully Carol will um, go live a little more often while I'm gone. I'm going to mention it to a few other people that can do lives. And then I guess there's almost always one on Saturdays now. I don't know how they fit that in on a Saturday. Saturdays are so busy, but it's good. Uh, let's see. Where did we end up? On the platform, perfect. Hi, flat cat. You just grooming. So here's Jinx. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, I've only heard Manny Jaguar calling one time ever. It's very rare. I've actually never heard Jinx. I've heard Sundari and Armani, though. What are you doing, sir? So Jinx is a black leopard. 
You know, big cats are carnivores, so they eat 100% raw meat, and they also, hi, hi. They also do eat the bone as well. All of that's really important for them. It's naturally what they get in the wild. We refer to him as flat cat because generally when you're walking up to him, he flattens himself completely to the ground and tries to pretend you don't see him. So silly. If he were more in the sunlight, you'd see he's actually more of like a reddish brown, chocolatey brown color. And he does actually have silvery gray leopard spots. What's Armani talking about? Clearly nothing interesting. <laughs> Not super interesting. You know, I'm gonna miss, oh, it's hard for me to even think about being gone for 10 days, but I will tell you, I, I need it. I'm, I'm ready to have more than two days off in a row and I need to unplug. A job where pretty much 24 seven I'm accessible via social media. It's kind of taken its toll. It's been a pretty intense year. And my husband and I never got a honeymoon, so we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary together. So we're doing something awesome. <laughs> yeah. But my goal is to pretty much stay off of my phone. We'll see how that works though, because it's gonna be really hard for me to not know what's going on with these cats every single day. Yeah, Jessica, Armani Leopard is the most talkative leopard that we have here for sure. Yeah, my husband and I were talking about how awesome this will be because we're gonna be sailing and on boats and just not gonna have a lot of Wi-Fi or internet access. And we were born in a time where we actually remember like pay phones and pagers and you know, rotary phones and things like that. And, but then also saw the birth of technology and social media and we've had the best of both worlds, but we're, we're ready to take some time out. But it's gonna like devastate me to not see these cats every day. Yeah, and I will still try to be checking in on Instagram. That's probably where I'll be the most active. So running the big cat Instagram and then probably documenting our trip on mine. All right, Mr. Man, so you can kind of see now that he's got some sunlight on his belly, how he's more of like a reddish brown color. You are so handsome. He knows it too. Well, I really want to thank the three people that donated and everybody who shared this feed today. That's always the free way that you guys can really help these cats. Sharing on Facebook, alerts Facebook that people are finding what we're doing interesting and that'll help reach other people. Yep, it is super time to nap. Gotta get ready for our staff meeting today. And I'm still scheduling like crazy to have everything in place for when I leave, so. But hopefully, weather permitting, we'll do a live again tomorrow. And then I'll still be here through next Wednesday, so. <laughs> oh. There's Nikita. Well, on that note, that was Nikita Lioness saying goodbye, everybody. Thank you guys so much again for answering questions. I'll reach out to you guys in the comments, and I will be seeing you again soon. Thank you.